I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's a site with curated information you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find work more quickly. Now, I want to start by saying I have a long relationship with LinkedIn. I was in the first 10,000 members on the platform, member 7653. And as I look at it, it's a fantastic place to create a brand for yourself. And as we all know, when you have a brand, it's an asset that allows you to differentiate yourself from your competition in a good way or in a bad way. And I have to say it that way because a lot of you are very haphazard with what you do. This is one of those stupid LinkedIn mistakes that people make. And it proves costly because you don't understand how people think. Let me ask you a question. If you're looking for a mechanic to work on your car, you ask your friends, right? You may have driven past the place and asked, what do they think of that mechanic, right? Well, when recruiters, corporate and third-party recruiters, are searching for people to fill jobs, they're searching for profiles on LinkedIn. They've purchased a LinkedIn recruiter account generally. They spend quite a few thousand dollars to do it. And they're looking for ways to differentiate one candidate versus another. Now, they found you through keywords, but they start digging deeper to see whether you're really an expert at what you do. One of the ways they do that is by looking at recommendations first and endorsements second. The difference between the two is endorsements are a little checkbox and recommendations are full text descriptions of what it is that you did to help someone. When you have lots of recommendations, I'll use myself as an example. Is there a difference between someone who has eight recommendations or 80 or 180? Well, obviously the person who has more has been assessed to be better for people than the, that person with eight. Now, obviously it could have been that no one ever asked these people for recommendations. That's their fault. The more recommendations that you have, the better you appear to people. Endorsements is like the second cousin. It's not quite as good because it's too easy and doesn't really say anything. I know I was endorsed for things that I have no experience with. And yet people endorse me for it more than a thousand times. The example on that is systems development life cycle. I have no experience with that. I know what it is, of course, but that wasn't my experience. The result wound up being, I saw how pointless some of these were as people were just trying to be helpful and ticking things off. But a recommendation is a good description of someone. Get recommendations from people who know your work. Don't just simply ask your friend to write, she's really good, or he's a really good guy, or nonsense along those lines. I used to get recommendation requests from people in India, and I would ask them, what do you think I'm supposed to say about your work? After all, how is it possible that I've even seen it or experienced it? I'm not going to help game the system. Don't game the system. There's a lot of people you've worked with in your past who'd be very happy to write a recommendation for you. And as you make the request to them, give them an idea of some of the things they might write about or even write it out for them and suggest they copy and paste it in. More recommendations, the better. More endorsements, the better. I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you found this helpful. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, click the like button down in the, in the corner. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, there's a little icon where I was just pointing. Point the, uh, click on that, and you'll get notified whenever I do a new video for YouTube. Also want to mention, I've got a lot more at TheBigGameHunter.us. Go over to the site, go explore, and I've got thousands of posts, more than 7,000 there as of uh, current viewing that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find work more quickly. If you want curation, that is 
a tight number of things with an emphasis on interviewing. Join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I'd encourage you to take out a lifetime membership. The cool thing about that is for the price of the lifetime membership, I give you an hour of, of coaching, which costs the same as the lifetime membership. So you get a two for there. I hope you found this helpful and hope you have a great day. Take care.